All right, immediately off the bat, I see a clone thing, which is a problem. A booster bot. This ancient medical robot is shaped like a squat, friendly dwarf with their painted features long worn away to swaths of pitted metal. They reach a helpful arm out, holding a stubby booster injector, ready to cheerfully cleanse the world of all its very diseases. It's equipped with a weird artifact. I, I wonder if it will give me benefits if it touches me. The head and torso of the clone thing are comprised of skull-sized hexagonal pyramids of polished chrome. Four many-jointed chrome rods swivel from their core, wielding rusty scalpels. Another hangs limply, the cloneling's genetic nanoprinter. What is that? Acidic pseudopods. Up the stairs. Will it follow me? It did. I think I'm so fast, son of a bitch. Stupid sleeping gas. Oh, hey. Uh, lead acid cell. Bill. How do I... I can fill these with acid, I assume, right? Doesn't seem any friendlier than a malfunctioned surgeon robot. <laughs> I would love to put some acid in these lead acid cells. If that's in fact what they're supposed to hold. Problem is I don't have anything to put liquids into anymore because I filled all of my containers. Could drink all the honey to get some acid. But I imagine the acid would burn through my water skin, right? Is it worth it? I'm gonna drink my honey. Yeah, I can collect it and immediately pour it in, right? That's my my thinking here. Alright, I got plenty of honey back at home base. And hey, now we run into uh any diseases, I'm already filled with honey. Like liquid. 16 drams. Like liquid. Inventory. Oh look! I collected it already. Yeah, never mind. I, I made a I made a boo-boo. Well I got an empty one. Well, let me turn this off. Now I have I have an empty water skin. That's nice to have. But hey, we got the acid. I don't like how I'm walking through acid. That was a silly thing to do. Time to wash myself off. We good? Huh. It's acid everywhere. Gotta move through acid to go down the stairs, unfortunately. Down. All right, my oh, lurking Beth. Beth, you suck. Just bandaged myself up. Can't see what's taking pot shots at me. I don't like how injured I am at the moment. I would love to just chill out for a second. A blaze injector whizzes past nearby. Booster pot. What are you doing? Oh, he gave me a salve. Thanks, dude. Die. Some empty injectors. Well, that was a nice, nice bonus. He 
These are sleep gas things. Yeah, drowsy urchins. I'll just ignore them. Although, if I need to retreat, nah, they'll just release the gas if I attack them. Fuck you, Lurking Beth. I wonder what stat comes into play for if you notice a Lurking Beth or if you notice... Try and staunch my wounds, there we go. Yeah, I might want to grab, uh... Good old staunch wounds. No clones! Thank you very much. Where do you go? It's intelligence! Oh, well, there you go. Die. A lot of sap, but... Oh, I hate Lurking Beth. Just such, such a jerk enemy type. I don't even know what I just attacked. A plastinoid? Normality gas. So, can someone tell me what normality gas does? I have, like, you know, normality gas grenades and things, but I've never really figured out what normality gas as a substance does. Uh, booster bot again. Oh god, king crab! Don't like king crabs. Let the king crab take a step toward me. Discharge into the king crab. Kill the king crab. It counters abilities like phasing. I see. Yeah, it restores normality. I just wasn't sure what that means. What the hell are these things? A gang of tiny plastic gyroscopes undulates towards you. For what purpose they were originally designed to serve? The echo of that memory has long since waned in the chrome halls of cut. As gimbals. Alright, doesn't seem terribly scary. It does have normality, but... I don't think that affects me negatively. Oh, you little shit. I'm falling asleep. No, don't collect blood! A panicked click got me some bloody salt. Poor. Nearby. All of the blood, please. Don't need that. What I do want, though, is to put another cell into my floating point defense drone and identify some of these things. A laser pistol? Alright. Flaming steel kukri? Okay. And a combat shotgun. Interesting. I've never seen one of those before. Replace the cell with a full chem cell. Got some tinkering bits. Doing okay on health at the moment. That's three crabs, huh? But they're not king crabs, so I could take them in a fight just fine. 131 hit points. Alright. Some trash in here. Found into the location of some forgotten ruins. Which ones? Who knows? Hanging out in some sleep gas for fun. Kill the Lurking Beth. Just gonna head an attack in a bunch of directions in case there's Lurking Beths there. Lead Slugs, yes. Let's identify. Ooh, a freeze ray. Get. Upper Nugget, get. If you're an Ego build, it could really disable some of your moves. There are in some places that will cause active effects, astrally burdens. It works the same as normality gas. Interesting. Thankfully, my character, besides a little bit of... Oh, just a bunch of 
High value tinkering bits? Hell yes. Fracture microchip. Disassemble. And what do we have here? Two salve injectors? Bandages? Blaze injector. Hulk honey. Salve injector. Bandages. Ah. Oh, beautiful. You know what? These chests are pretty cool. How heavy are they? One pound. Yeah, I'm taking a medical chest with me. Because they look cool. What are you? A luminous horse room? Do some harvesting? A little bit of garbage. A puzzling artifact. Examine. A rolling chair. Disassemble the rolling chair. Kill that stupid thing. Ooh! We learn that Cud was once called Saloom. I've learned. Learned so much. I've been everywhere. There's like one little corner I haven't been to. And one pile of garbage I haven't gone through yet. Oh, lurking path. Such a pain in the ass. Please, friend robot, stop that. I love the soundtrack. Let's go to this trash. Yeah, just like, what is this strange device? It looks like it has a place for a posterior. Hmm, curious. Oh, it's a chair. It's a chair. I figured it out. I mean, every day I walk in my room and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Oh, oh, it's a chair. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. oh nearly had a heart attack. It's a, ch it's a chair. It's a ch oh, it's a chair. Of course, it's a chair. I should I should have known it was a chair. I'm gonna make maybe a couple more salve injectors, just so I have them. Just the one, even. Just the one. Back to my inventory for a hot second. Equip you. Small trinket, that's what I thought. Replace the cell, remove the cell. No cells in there. Let's take the bullets out of you. <clears throat> I'm gonna disassemble the semi-automatic pistol. That's not very exciting. <sighs> Missile launcher's been a real letdown so far. It has the same amount of legs as you do. Can't really be sure. That's a good point. As a four-legged human, be terrified. Laser pistol freeze ray. I'm interested in a few of these things just to test them out. I love the soundtrack for this building. It's like weirdly futuristic and also like throwbacky. Am I going right back up those stairs? Yes, I am. Interesting. Okay. All right. I thought the pseudopod would follow me up. What do I got for grenades? Ah, uh, just a bunch of sower seeds. I'll just disassemble this residence grenade. I got a Mark II high explosive. Equip you and just hurl you at the problem down there. Well, now I feel even better about this. Up the stairs. Oh, come on, crab. Now back up. Oh, there you guys are.
I didn't want to release the gas. There's a bunch of fairly interesting looking things right there that I don't want to melt into slag just yet. <sighs> More king crabs? Just leave your legs and go, so I may eat them. Badly wounded, dead. All right. It dawns on me that I'm not seeing their hit points. Which means my bioscanner is drained. Yes, it is. Precinct navigator seems fine. Replace the cell. I'll put a lead acid cell in there. In theory, we're going to pass more acid on the way up. M cell. Seeing some interesting stuff down here. What is this? Weird artifact, examine. Hyperbiotic bed. Hidden micro reset reactor smash together particles, generate heat, and power the biotic machine apparatus that rejuvenates the weary slumberer. Take it apart! Is that another chamber? Ooh, what are you? Molting basilisk husk. Okay. I'm a little afraid of a fucking basilisk. No, oh, don't get into the chamber, you stupid idiot. Take it apart. Yeah. No clones, thank you very much. Oh, laser beam. Where's the laser beam coming from? Another basilisk hide. I'm getting nervous about these basilisks. Listen, Voider. Just need you to die for me, alright? Without teleporting me somewhere. That's what I didn't want to see. That looks like... Wait, is it... It's just bloody, it's not actually the Basilisk, right? Oh no, it has hit points. It's in the process of molting. But it doesn't tell me if it's tough or not, which is making me a little bit afraid. Like it one-hit KO you? Is it... coming at me? Doesn't look like it cares about me. It does count as being hostile, but it's not moving, so I'm just gonna walk away from it. And hope that we can be friends. Best friends, even. I see some more good tinkering. No! Son of a bitch! Look what you've done! I'm sorry, is that a clone of me that's friendly? It is in fact a friendly version of myself. It's you! Yeah. You gonna go get fight that laser, maybe? <sighs> really have to pee. BRB. Because <laughs> we could have maybe proselytized ourselves here. A clone of myself. Oh, that annoying laser. I want to try and... Close the distance between me and it. Hmm. Well, I have an opportunity here for another rejuvenation tank to take apart. And get a bunch of cool bits. 
Oh, I finally have nanomaterials, son! I apparently can't not say nanomaterials followed by son. Oh, and then I could jack it. If I could jack a chain laser, we'd have infinite bullets. Infinite bullets! So that's, uh, fairly tempting right there. Just gonna stand in some convalescence for a second. Lurking path. Whoa, that's a lot of friends. Hop into equipment real fast. Thrown weapon, sower seeds. Why? We were friends! We were buddies! What changed? What made you aggro on me? I'm sorry, clone of Kuwar. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, all the cool things are melting. Get, get. Oh, not recharge, just get. I'm also just looking to get the things on the floor before they go away. Disassemble. 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 I don't know what you things are. We got like a cloud of both normality and corrosive gas there. It's quite the soup. We're at 26 degrees currently, so we're not... Depending on if that's uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, we're, we're doing fine temperature. Either way, we're doing fine. But if it were Celsius, we're doing real fine. We're, we're positively warm. <sighs> Thanks, spider. You see, I was trying to kill the lurking Beth. You killed yourself by teleporting me away. You immediately... What is that? Sappy Twinning Lamprey. A roiling mass of physically innervated... Oh my god. A roiling mass of psychically innervated tissue. A twinning lamprey is never for what? Wants of company. I, I swear. I swear I'm, I'm literate. I know how to read. I know it doesn't seem like it. Sometimes. God, I love the song. The lamp rays are tough. All right, they're they're fighting some lurking bests here, and the chain gun took them apart entirely. How are we doing on bullets? Down to eighty-seven. I'm getting nervous, but I think. Oh, fucking Lurkin' Beth. How many of you are there? Let's just hang out here. I'm pretty sure I can craft... A chain, a chain laser right now. And I might even be able to jack the chain laser right now. So if I run out of bullets, what is all that? Hello, Break. How's it going? Sap stained? Yeah, but what's... Is it just like a weird blood stain there? Might as well get me a new horror shroom. I'm pretty sure it just molts a lot, which is why there's so many molts going on. Examine. Hyperbiotic chair. Hidden micro-reactor smash together particles generate heat. Yep, we've seen one of these before. Take it apart. Give me the bits. Like, I only have so many shots left with my lead slug collection as it is. 
I think we might actually be better off maybe building the chain laser right now. So how many shots do I have? I have 87. My chain gun chews through that really fast. Chain laser. I'm doing it. I'm gonna build a chain laser. And then I'm going to mod the chain laser. Jacked chain laser. Damn it, I need nanomaterials. Of course I do. Of course I do. It's alright. Inventory. Where's my chain laser? Thank god, it's a heavy weapon. Nine penetration, 1d12 damage. I am very excited about that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to find the bits I need. But for now, we'll just go ahead and equip it. Out of curiosity, what was my chain gun doing damage-wise? Eight penetration, 1d6. Oh, this is definitely a big upgrade. Let's go ahead and give this a lead acid so. Yeah, let us so. Chain laser up and going. Ooh, jack point defense drone. That's such a good idea. That's an amazingly good idea. Displacer bracelets. Maybe I have to unequip it for it to show up on this list. Might have to unequip it for it to show up. Or no. His chain laser's here. Alas, we might not be able to mod it. But hey, we'll keep it in mind. Because if I can, I would love to do it. There's trash up there, but that's trash right next to the basilisk. Which means that trash is the basilisk's. He owns that trash. Not gonna mess with his trash. Let's just leave. I don't want to fight a basilisk that doesn't even have a listing for how dangerous it is. Long floor builds. Wow, temperature drop was extreme on this floor. Minus 14? Minus 17? Yeah, a bunch of my stupid little, like, wrist devices would be great to have jacked. Oh, it feels really good. My point defense drone intercepts the empty injector. I think I know who's nearby. Fuck you, lurking Beth. Where are you, doctor? Burnt capacitor, tinkering bits, five empty injectors. I would like to make camp now, thank you very much. Choose from ingredients to cook with. I'm going to go with convalescence and some dried law petals. Let's see what that does for us. Plus two bonus on ego rolls when using intimidate. Can use freezing ray at level two. It's hoping for some cold resistance. But being next to the fire keeps me warm. All right, let's use a little bit of clairvoyance here. King crab, two normal crabs, a chest. Ooh. A gyro humor. Humors are the eroded bits of the earth, dust flaked a million year. We've read this before. It has hoary pseudopods as opposed to just your average run-of-the-mill pseudopods. Oh, that eats through batteries real fast, doesn't it? Okay. We have plenty of chem cells. Fucking lord, I'm moving through acid again. But hey, inventory. Let acid sell. Let's just walk up to it. 
collect liquid. There we go, nine drams into my various cells that use acid. It's an inconvenient line of acid on the floor there now. Yeah, jacking this thing is going to be really worth my time, I think. Reduce that chain gun to slag. Oh, there's so many friends in there! Come at me! Let's dance! Oh, this gun's gonna do a lot of work. So much work. It's convalescence. That's a nice thing to stand in for a moment. By habit, I always want to press the R button to reload. Get some tinkering bits on the floor. Let's see if we could jack it yet. May I... may I jack it? It's only nanomaterials. I just want a jacket, come on! Oh, something else is moving around down here. <coughs> Listen, I've been cloned enough, thank you very much. I just want a jacket, Milk. I just want a jacket. The game is preventing me from jacking it. This animate sack of luminous ooze rolls along the floor, unknowingly guiding those spry adventurers who would ply the halls of Bethesda Sousa. Oh, it's made of convalescence? That's a nice thing to be made of, dude. All right, more basculus husks, so I'm starting to get nervous again. Let's go, pseudopods! Oh, chain laser is so good, man. I know Katase has uh, sung the praises of chain lasers in the past. If I can get jacking it to go... If I could just jack it, I'll be unstoppable. Once the jacking starts, there won't be any stopping it. I swear, I'm, I'm ramping down on the jacking it jokes, I promise. Oh, fuck me. It's a molting basilisk husk. But it has hit points, which makes me think that might be a real basilisk. It is red, that makes me, makes me afraid of it. Say hello to my little friend. Like, I'm really fast. Really fast. Remarkably fast. But these pseudopods can keep up. Kick in this door. Is that graffiti? Triangle, triangle, triangle square. You said it, man. You said it. Go ahead and close that door. Close those doors. It's clairvoyance the room that he is in. He's just in one tiny little room that I could ignore. That's what I like to see. Aha! Fuck you! Oh, it's just a quillipede? Psh. Quillipedes ain't shit. Oh, lurking baths. How I hate you. Microchip. It's gonna attack in every direction, just in case. I think I broke the trash, unfortunately, which is unfortunate. 
Alright, almost to the chest I saw earlier. Go! Go, crabs! They have decent experience. I don't think I have any mines, actually. I took them all apart for bits. Don't know what that would say. DX of its face? BX of its face? Something of its face. Alright. You're not hostile. But if there's like a crab or anything in this room, I don't want you killing everything in a seven mile radius. Hello. Quiet this metal, achievement unlocked. Liquids are better. I prefer liquids. Superfluids are too unruly. Who are you? A connoisseur of liquids, uh... Sure, I dabble in other states of matter, but I prefer the shifting and tumbling of ageless, um, angleless motion. Not too hot, not too cold, not too indeterminate. Let's trade. What do you got for me? Yes, it's True Axiom's arch nemesis, the dude who blew you up. Pieces of its face. Ah, that's probably what it said. Pieces. How's it going? Uden the God? So, files of acid, asphalt, black ooze, molten wax. So here's the one that, uh, that got you murdered last time, is Neutron Flux. Neutron Flux is what did you win last time. <gasps> right! Ink from my tattoo gun! I will take one dram of ink. Thank you very much. You want four drams of something? Uh, probably water, but I'll just give you one copper nut. No oh no, that's ten. What do I have to give you that's like five-ish bucks? Here's a flaming cookery for you. I'm not going to use that. Trade complete. Shotgun shell, sure. Fine way for sure. Ooh, a canteen, hell yeah. Let's use clairvoyance to see if there's anything bad on the other side. We're good. I don't want him tossing his stupid neutron juice everywhere. Brain brine plus precog is OP. Ooh. Tell me, tell me more. We've done it. We've cleared this floor. That's all I wanted. <coughs> I guess we'll go down another flight of stairs. Why do these things always have to bleed on the goddamn stairs? Ruined ward, Bethesda Sousa, nine strata deep. I see a chair, I see a crab. I see nothing else. Suck on laser, oops. Please hold on the sucking on laser. I hate Lurking Beth. Many layers of Lurking Beth there. Peek my head in here. Let's. What are we looking at here? What is this? A rhyme wick. Tiny granules of ice stick to the violet frill of this frigid iguana. Icy jaws. It's asleep at the moment. In some sleep gas. I'm not gonna bother it. It could nap all at once. Looking forward to me getting to the last floor. You're thinking something might happen, you don't want to spoil it. If I recall, Truaxium said there's a glitch somewhere toward the end of Bethesda Sousa, or after you're delivering the quest of Bethesda Sousa. So I'm gonna back up my save before we get to very scary things. Or rather, toward the end. If Truaxium is still awake, if he could remind me when I should back up my save. The weird artifact is not owned by you. Yes, I would examine it. It's a hyperbiotic chair, which I'm going to take the hell apart. 
Problem is when you go back. All right, good to know, good to know. Drink charge? Look. Yeah, it's just a thing that lets you heal if you lay on it. Disassemble, yes. What kind of... Ah, no mana. I want nanomaterial, son. Alright. Well, yeah, everything's scary, which is fine. I'm more mean. I don't want my save to be corrupted by a glitch. Not going out that way. You sit in the in the chair. That's fine. I'll just sit here and heal in the chair. And then take the chair apart. He's a symbol. Another chair? Oh, I'm seeing chairs all over the place. Disassemble. Some guy runs out. What are you doing taking apart on my chairs? What's wrong with you? Disassemble. Every bed I own. You animal. Oh, it's a neutral blue gel. I'll just go ahead and pop in there, grab the trash, grab the trash. You had that glitch Runa run for you? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Get out of here, you little jerk. Carefully back up saves when needing needing to. Why is it building zone? That was weird. Ooh, a beetle! Petty mortal, place three portions of still beard gland paste before me, and I shall reward you with a mighty weapon! Alright, you note the location of a beetle demanding three portions of still beard gland paste and promise a mighty weapon in return. Mark it in my journal. Very doable? I don't think I've ever seen still beard paste. Nothing to trade. We all cool in here, guys? Because I'm going to take apart all these chairs. Ooh, chef sell it? That's awesome. Yeah, that's very doable then. That's remarkably doable. God. So many lurking baths. Don't forget about your tiny alien friends. You talking about the, uh... Part-time UFO? I haven't forgotten. We'll get it in there. Probably in a half an hour we'll switch over. Squeeze in a little bit of the, uh... Alright, who's hostile here? I don't want to accidentally aggro the nice little gels. They're, they're friendly. Even though, mechanically speaking, it makes no difference to me. But my character's like, no, oh, these guys are cool. I don't want to start no shit with them. Chemcell, nice. More bullets for the bullet gun. Let's go, you eyeless jerk. Grow some eyes, you loser. And I aggroed it somehow. Every time. Just splash it around in the goo, making that thunder with me seeing the cloud of sleeping spores happened at a weird time. It made it seem like there was an explosion down there. Did I missed any trash? Just one down there with the sleeping friends. That's right, there was a lizard in here earlier. Take this apart. Earth. I can't tell if there's something in here. Wake up. Rolling chair. That's right, there's a rolling chair. Take apart the rolling chair. 
Leave nothing alone that can be taste assembled. I want every son of a bitch. That lizard really got the drop on me. I'd love to be not frozen. Minus 255, that's a scary number. Yeah, this is very scary. I mean, the heat cannot be frozen. I have mixed tonics, which you're not supposed to do, but I need it to stay alive. Gonna sprint. I am a very fast boy. Very fast, boy. Thirty-eight health is not enough health for me. Still got Blaze Tonic in action. That's what I was looking for. Start to cool off. All right. Friendly. I'm just gonna. Oh my God! Lurking breath. I'm gonna splash around in this puddle a little bit. That lizard comes at me, he has to come at me in a fucking straight line. I would love to kill that lizard! Do I have more blaze injectors? I do indeed. All right. I do not. I don't want to leave that lizard alive. I come back down here to do that beetle mission, and that fucking lizard gets a drop on me. I'll kick myself. Let's see. It froze me around here. I backed out. It was following me. It's not there. hunting now. Just to be sure, I'm going to put a new, fresh cell in my gun. Can I jack it yet? Nope, no nanomaterials. Is my floating point drone still going? Yes. Alright, if I want to get... If I'm getting to be dropped on by this lizard, being in a pool of convalescence seems like a great place to be standing when that happens. And I have a blaze injector. If I need to, I could shoot up right when we need to. That's what I thought, you piece of garbage. Dead man. Fucking dead man! <sighs> All right, lizard's dead. This floor has been cleared entirely. Splash around in this for a little bit. Ah, <sighs> beetle friend. All right. Down we go. So we're currently on floor... Nine. How many floors are there in Bethesda Sousa? Additionally, could I have just taken a stupid elevator at the top? Could I have just ridden that down? Is that the takeaway here? I could have just, like, taken that goddamn elevator to the bottom? Because the elevator was at the top, and there's a shaft here. Which makes me think I could have done that. Luminous horse room. The 
<laughs> well, I meant to cook with God fucking lurking Beth. It's like the worst surprise you could have is a lurking Beth just showing up randomly. Surprises are supposed to be fun. Just gonna unload on these things. Booster bot. I don't think you have a medical license. Oh, hello, weird snail. Friendly weird snail. Oh, that's cool. The babies aren't friendly. And now that I've killed the babies... Now you got a problem with me. I think we're gonna go up the stairs. Unload hell in these things. <sighs> Make some convalescence angels in this pool. Reminds you of an abandoned hospital the entire setting. It is kind of like an abandoned research facility. Uh, you know what? There's one thing of trash down here. I'm just gonna grab it. You guys asked for this. Little jerks. There we go. Down we go. Just a clone bot waiting for me? That's fun. Tinkering bits. Tinkering bits. Tinkering bits. Do I have clairvoyance? I do. What's next door to me? Interesting. Empty injector times five. Man, I'm slip sliding around in all the slime and blood and goo. Strange tubes. Examine. The ergo chair. Small trinket, six strands of blood in it. Plastic white assault bleach was contoured to the posture for ideal rumination. Yeah, what's it do? I'll never know because I'm taking it apart. Rolling chair, nice. Disassemble. Man, this place is huge. Everbiotic chair. Am I currently injured? I'm not, so take it apart. Oh, still no nanomaterials. I need just just one or two nanomaterials, please. How about short sword, camel bladder? Nice, get it. Oh, is this chair empty? Disassemble. Inventory. Is my advanced toolkit working just fine? Yeah, it has a chemistal on it. It should be fine. <laughs> you little shits. What do we have in here? A little bit of garbage. We found the location of Mudhenge. It's a settlement. Oh, nice. I've been looking for a new place to go. That is it a goat village. Disassemble. Empty injectors. I got a lot of empty injectors. Boost what skull conjecture didn't penetrate. Kind of sad it didn't. I would have gladly accepted that. Oh, good lord. 
I've been in Bethesda Susan my whole life. A little bit of garbage. Another chair to take apart. Ah, oh, this organ music. It's so good. Oh, nice. These these give good bits. Disassemble. Yeah. Nanomaterial sun mod. What's that chain laser? I could jack you. When equipped by a robot, cyborg, or mutant with the ability to generate electricity or access the power grid, this item can draw power. You mod it to be a jacked laser. Inventory, or rather, equipment. Jacked laser with a chem cell. Remove that cell. Is power devices turned on? Power devices is on. Yeah, baby. No more batteries for us. Oh my god, yeah, can you imagine? Get another pair of arms and dual wield chain lasers? That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. Maybe I will play the mutation gotcha. Save up until we're at four and just roll the dice once. I mean, that sounds pretty fucking good. The chances we get it are super low. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it, but the chances are there. It's not impossible. It's just highly improbable. Man, I'm gonna be willy-nilly with my chain gun now, just gonna shoot everything. Disassemble. Now that I don't have to worry about running out of bullets, like, this is amazing. Now we got the downstairs there, so we know the exit. I've right, been through that chest, if I recall. Ooh, there exists a bend. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Rifling through the trash, you piece together clues and arrive at the following conclusion. There exists a dimension known as the Orbit of Tantalum. What? Not a location, but a dimension. Which raises a number of questions. I'm pretty sure I went through this chest, I'm just gonna... Yeah, carbide short sword. What's the implication for another dimension? There is garbage in there. Oh, lurking Beth, you piece of shit. Every once in a while my character falls asleep and just heals a bunch. There are ten strata deep currently. Uh, looks like we have a few lurking Beths I didn't kill, but otherwise we picked up all the treasure there is to pick up. No, no, you see... That's a mistake? guys are annoying. More annoying is that my character's like, yeah, you know what I want to fire at? This one chunk of wall over here. I just, I just want to untarget it. Okay, don't, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. 
These guys are annoying. God, stop multiplying. Yes, straight line. Man, they know. They know not to be in a straight line. Both at once. That's all I wanted. We good? We good. Disassemble the rolling chair. Let's make camp here. Let's cook with some convalescence and some cider. Just mix them together, make a drink. We have plus four quickness, 11 to saves versus bleeding. Might as well just heal up. All right, floating drone. But also, I got some trinkets here. What do we got? A nuclear cell, huh? Examine. A biodynamic cell with blood in it. Man, I'm getting a lot of new batteries. Place your cell. Let's put a put a chem cell in there. Oops, and then equip you. All right, down a flight of stairs. Clairvoyance behind this door. It's an empty room. Well, great. Disassemble for the bits. We're still in an abandoned ward. Reduce him to ash. Okay, got the door. Sorry, got the, the stairs down, rather. Oh, did he see me? He sees me. And he's dead. stranger he has nothing to trade well let's disassemble you get the canteen what kind of weapon do you have I'm hearing a fun noise from you hold a carbide short sword pistol laser pistol that's what we're hearing I'll help you out buddy I got you Nice working with you, friend. Disassemble. Disassemble. Man, it's just a delightful collection of things for me to take apart and get some real nice bits to work with. Hmm. A little bit too tough for me to shoot. Just penetration wise, they have an annoying habit of being hard to penetrate. Disassemble, get the bits. Tinkering parts, hell yeah. Murder you, murder you. Auto collect all of these good bits, and what do we have here? Hell yeah, I'll just take it all. Salve, love, blaze, bandages, fix it, take it all. Freeze grenades, beef jerky, take it. Shotgun shell, sturdy borderlands revolver. We're gonna take this apart. Gonna take this apart. 
And we'll take the shells, why not? Get the bits. Yeah, this place is very much a gold mine. Alright, well, turns out if I shoot them enough, they eventually die. Hard to penetrate. As much as they may be hard to penetrate, enough bullets will eventually work. 